Hi everyone, Emily here. Today I'm going to draw a submarine. Quite a few people have been asking me to do submarines, so I want to make sure I fulfil that request. I've drafted it up very loosely because it helps me know where I'm going. Um, so let's go. Let's go. Right, what you want to do? I would say straight line all the way across your page. Try not to get too much of a dip, but straight line. Just straight line. It reminds me a little bit of the tank that we drew. The straight line. Then you want to go little line here. So just little line at the end. Can you see? It's like a straight line. Then it goes up. That goes down. So it's like an arrow. So it's a straight line arrow effect. We're going to go... Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. And the other side is exactly the same. Think of a gherkin, if you eat gherkins or cucumbers, and you're joining up the arrow. Join up the arrow. That is the shape of your submarine. This is your guideline. So we do not need this anymore. So we're going to rub it out. It's a lot of rubbing out, actually. Do you know, before we rub it out, let's do one of the propellers, one of the, I don't know what they're called. You probably know this if you like submarines, so maybe call it out. I don't want chalk on my face. Okay, just here. Put your pencil there. I'm gonna go out, straight across, across. So it's like a little propellery thing. It reminds me of a zeppelin. I don't know if you've ever done history in school where you've seen zeppelins in the sky, which is kind of cool. And then you're gonna touch that bit there and go up. Float, float, float. Go down. So it's like a line. And then you're going to go, and then you just join it up. So you just do this. Da -da -da, da -da -da. So it's like it's not straight like a square chip or a rectangle chip. It goes down a bit of an angle. And then we want to have those propellery things at the end. So we're just going to go around. It reminds me of flowers. I'd probably say it doesn't, but it reminds me of flowers. That's the propellery thing. And then here, just do a little, little smile, baby smile. And you've got just these little odd bits at the end. I don't know what they are, but there's something to do with the submarine. So then we're gonna rub out this line. We're just gonna go straight across. So have a go of rubbing it out. If you don't like the shape of it, rub it out and maybe correct it a bit more. But there's always time to go over it if you don't like it, so don't worry. I'm going to rub this bit out, but then leave where that propellery line is. So get your rubber and rub yours out. I'm not using the rubber because of the pen that I've used. Okay, so it's looking good. Apologies, I shouldn't do that. It's, um, it's chalk on my face from doing some art this morning that I wanted to do. Um, use, a, use a cloth probably go to the sink but I can't seem to get it off my face so anyway pencil find this bit here so you're probably gonna do let's do the lines and then that might help actually no okay let's just find here and you're gonna go like this just a line there use your eyes if you can just to figure out where it might go now look at the paper straight the paper straight so you want to do a straight line going straight not at an angle so it's gonna do this straight line up straight line up so think about the papers being straight and the line straight then you're going to do this shape underneath like on top so it's a little bit like um a 3d shape then just a line there because it's got a little bit of form to it get the rubber again and you want to rub out inside this shape so just quickly rub it out you don't have to do it quickly but just rub it out if you can then on there you've got this rectangle and then it kind of has a line then you've got another one that's a bit higher it's like a line there then what I want to do is you've got two little bobbly bits there then you've got kind of like I can't remember what they're called they're like on a fish but it's a vehicle it's a um 
Sure. Normally I know what things are called, but I've just I've just completely forgotten. So we're gonna do a line in the middle there, and then you're gonna go la, la, la. So you're joining it up. It's like one of those, and you're gonna rub out whatever's inside those. So rub out the line inside that, rub out the line inside that. Then you're going to touch that bit there and float across because this will give you the other thing on the other side. We're nearly there if I'm honest but we're going to draw a little bit of a Nemo fish just to add something different. So we're going to do lines like that. So just not too many, just here and there. And then the line goes from here. So one goes from the second line and it just goes on the top and it goes there. So that is your submarine. I think it's a British submarine. I tried to Google it and I thought, ooh. So you can actually colour that any colour you like. Um, but if you want to, you could do a pink submarine, you could do a blue submarine, you could do a yellow, su yellow submarine. Um, but I think we're going to draw the fish now, so get your pencil ready. You can do like a nemo -y kind of fish. So it's going to be rainbow. And then you want to go out a bit. So rainbow out. If you can't see that, I did a fish video, so maybe look at that one. It's basically like that, but more of a nemo -y looking fish. And then you're going to go down and join it up. So it's like a baked bean with a little line in there. Then you're going to do the tail. Any tail you like, it doesn't matter, but I like to do roundy bits. So I'm doing one on there, so it's two at the bottom. I've got a little cartoon eye, because I quite like that. And then a little mouth, <laughs> just so he looks happy. And then a little fin. And then I'm going to do a line. And then a line there. So it's just something a little bit different. You don't have to draw these fish, but because it's in the water, I thought, why not? And then let's draw some friends. So he's got some friends with him. And they're following the submarine. So they're making sure that the submarine goes where it's supposed to go. Then what you could do is create a whole landscape. You could do like, there's lots of rocks in the sea. You could do a a treasure, a treasure, a treasure, a treasure, I can't say it, a treasure, a treasure, um, you could do a treasure trunk, lots of gold and things under the sea, you could do a mermaid, oh, I was going to draw a mermaid, I just remembered, I'm going to be doing a mermaid soon. So, we're going to colour it in now. What I want to do is I want to do the fish first, I can do it with chalks just because it's a bit easier at the moment. So we're going to leave the line white, but we're going to do everything orange. So I'm taking orange pastel, but you could literally take anything, and it doesn't have to be orange. You could do a really cool purple fish. You could do an octopus. You could do a shark. I've got lots of videos of doing underwater things, so you could do anything. Um, I think I'll do an orange for the other fish as well. The other little fishies. Okay. I would I would go as far as to say let's do some rocks. I like doing rocks like this. Actually, do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna just now. I was gonna show you a picture of a rock that I did. I might still actually. I might just leave you to do that. So do some rocks that go around the edges with the grey. If you've got watercolour chalk, uh, if you've got watercolour, it's going around with a grey. If you don't have chalk, yeah, can't find my painting. Um, if you've got chalks, do that. But if you don't have chalks, you want to. Oh, just found a painting that actually doesn't show rocks, but I did this. Oof, I did this many years ago, actually. Don't know if you can see it, but I love it. And it's got all grass, and then I did lots of hills. It's actually Gower in Wales, the Gower. All sea and the sky. I quite like painting stuff like that, but can you see that my hills are not just one green? 
So we might like to do the rocks more than one grain. Ah, more than one grey. So you could literally say, oh, under the sea, I'm going to have some green and grey. So I've never been in a submarine. I'm not sure if I'd want to because it's quite, it's not much space, is it, in there? But I bet it's quite fun to have a look round. So then we're going to colour some rocks now. So just have a bit of fun colouring. I'm tempted to colour this submarine yellow. I think I will. I think I'm going to do an orange. Shall I do a yellow? What do you reckon? I kind of feel like I want it to be greeny brown for some reason. I'm going to go round with the brown. Just because I don't know. There's something about it. I think it would look quite cool. So what I'm doing is I'm... I'm outlining it because I'm outlining it because I want it to look like it's got form to it. If you colour the whole thing like that, it doesn't really look 3D. So I would encourage you to draw around the edge actually. I think the flickery things at the end are orange. Looks like it's trying to be a Nemo fish this submarine <laughs> and Nemo thinks that uh, the submarine is a fish perhaps so we're going to colour it a bit green there maybe a bit green there then I'm going to get my little finger this is what makes it look cool now because of my rubbing out of my tip x it might not show up how I want it to but I think you'll get what I mean it's like it looks really cool. It looks like there's seaweed growing on it almost. It's been down in the sea for so long. You could have like a, a speech bubble with guys going, hey everyone, when's it lunchtime? Or when are we going back to the surface? So you can have a bit of fun with that actually. So yeah, I would even go as far as to say I don't know why, because it's in the water. I want some blue bubbles, because it just looks fun, doesn't it? I'm all about the fun at the moment, so if you're not enjoying it, try and find ways of making it fun, because that's really what you want to do, especially with art. It's nice to think, oh, you're finding something difficult. Do something as well with it that's fun. So I never used to like drawing backgrounds, uh, not backgrounds, landscape and I thought oh I'll give it a go and try and draw lots of sea because I like sea so now I do lots of seascapes um, so I really enjoy that so it's interesting how you're not sure what you enjoy till you try it and just keep trying and don't give up and add things that you love like the sea so I'm just going round with blue you don't need to do this but part of me thinks it looks quite cool you could even use this as a project for sure you could use it as a history project thing so if you're looking at world wars or anything like that maybe you could include this in your project ah there we go there is my little fishy wishy it's not a fish is it there's my <laughs> there's my submarine with the fish i would probably go around my fish in black just so he stands out I think he has got black on him anyway, hasn't he? So yeah, there we go. Have a bit of fun. See what you see what you come up with, and um, maybe you could do it all together as um, friends and see which one comes out in different colours. And you can have a whole whole team of them. <laughs> you can have a whole load of submarines all together. All right, then enjoy your drawing. Share and like and subscribe and tomorrow I am going to be drawing swallows for Abigail so that'll be pretty cool so see you tomorrow lots of love